The case Roe versus Wade has come up a lot, of course, when discussing the current state and future of abortion rights. But what legal standards did that decision actually create? Nick Smith is at our News Nation Smart Board to explain that and give us a little bit of a history lesson. And it's an issue that inflames passions on both sides. So we wanted to go a little bit deeper and break down what it actually means. Abortion rights have come up multiple times before the Supreme Court, but two cases have defined the way we talk about abortion in the U.S. Roe v. Wade and Planned Parenthood v. Casey. Roe, which was decided in 1973, implemented a tier system for allowing abortion access. Tier 1 covers the first trimester of the pregnancy and only requires basic safeguards for health. Limits on access are not allowed. Tier 2 goes from the first trimester to the point of fetal viability or when the child can survive outside the uterus. The state can only limit abortions to protect the mother's health. Tier 3 goes from fetal viability to birth. The state can restrict abortion as long as procedures are allowed when the mother's life is at risk. When we talk about Casey, in 1992, they did away with the trimester framework and instead created an undue burden standard. States could now regulate abortion as well as limit access after the first trimester, as long as the laws didn't impose a substantial obstacle to prevent a woman from getting access. Since Casey, cases have come before the court involving regulations around abortion access, but the undue burden standard has been upheld each time. It's unclear if the Mississippi case could change that. All right. Thank you, Nick Smith. A uh, breaking news. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.